What's up guys? This is What's My Game and thank you so much for watching as always. We are playing Witcher uh, 3, The Wild Hunt version 1.08. If you find this video helpful, please mash that like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. I've been asked a dozen times both in email and comments and messages. Please tell me what's working in 1.08 and what is not. Um, this first one here, uh, I guess a lot of you guys are just waiting to upload uh, the patch uh, until you know if stuff works or not. This first one is the experience uh, exploiter glitch, uh, the one for the Path of Warriors. This is the best and really not the the only because I'll go ahead and tell you the, uh, the Drowner uh, exploit for experience is still working. Uh, it's just that I'm such high a level, um, it's really pointless for me to do it because I'm not, I can't get any experience or show you a video of me getting experience. So if somebody wants to do that, that'd be great. But, uh, so the Drowner one still works for low levels. The Path of the Warriors, thumbs up. It still works after 1.08. You're still getting 50 experience points roughly every five to six, what do I do to seven seconds. I don't remember what it was. Um, but it still works. You just pass just two little bushes and just run back down. If you need more details, do do uh, I'll put a link in the description for you newbies uh, on exactly how to do this. I actually showed you in detail how to get this glitch done, and I also showed you uh, in detail the quest before this that can be challenging. So I did a walkthrough on that as well. So good news, um, experience is not a problem on 1.08. All right, so that's that's the first piece of good news. Um, the next thing that we want to look at is the infinite money glitch, um, or the nest duplication glitch, as it's more commonly known, uh, that I found eons ago, it seems like. Um, this is my favorite nest spot. This is right at the crossroads, which is in White Orchard, uh, the very, like, the very first place you start in the game. If you, just like in the last video, because I covered 1.07 not too long ago, but again, this is... I'm really doing a video just to, you know, cover all the demand uh, and ask for uh, from from you guys. Um, if you roll up on a nest that you know for a fact you left an item, but it's seemingly dead, uh, just walk away from it. Others have told me they they've gotten it to do it without walking away, but for some reason I have to walk away a little ways, and then I meditate five full days. I did play around with it for three days, um, but it uh, it didn't respawn. So. I didn't do any cuts on this editing, so I can roll right back up on it. As long as you leave one item, you're good to go. And when you roll up on the nest, you'll be able to destroy it all over again and then start the the glitch. Um, if for some reason, you know, there's new people finding these glitches, new people buying the game all the time, again, if you need a refresher on how this works, go back and watch the previous video. The first one, I'll put it in the description. Um, again, the only thing you really need right now is the gold ring out of this one or any good other item. Any item that's listed as other in that category under under character, under inventory, you want the gold ring because it's a high value other item and any shopkeeper in the game can buy it, which is key. What I'll tell you from a little bit different from what I did before was the last video I kind of said it more toward the end. It's really helpful here because once you get a little bit of money, maybe ten, fifteen thousand dollars, it's really not an issue for you anyway anymore. As long as you can keep doing this glitch, yes, we lost the the loan shark uh, in 1.07, but you don't really need the loan shark's infinite money because basically, when you go to buy something from somebody, you, they're going to have money that you just gave them for the stuff that you bought. So all you have to do is sell them gold rings because that shopkeeper will be able to buy them, and you can get all the money back that you just spent. So even if you only had $1,000, you could just keep recycling that 1,000 crowns, <laughs> not dollars. You can just keep recycling that 1,000 crowns over and over again. So whenever you buy something from somebody, then just sell them gold rings and you'll get your money right back. So you'll never really have to have a ton of money on you. So hopefully that makes sense. This armor in Novograd tends to be the one that has the most gold. I told you in the last video to kind of just make a circle around the area uh, and hit all four or five vendors in that main uh, area in Novograd I showed on the map just a second ago. You don't really need to do that. Um, they're not getting more than 150, 200 gold and our crowns, and it's just not worth it in my opinion. Uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm just going back and forth 
to the armor. I step a few steps away. I do the five days, uh, which I didn't show the full thing, but I hit it, meditate for five days, and then he's got about a thousand crowns back every time. So if I do this as quickly as possible, it can be done not as quick as the Lone Shark, but pretty quick because he'll just keep respawning about a thousand. The other guys only spawn about 120 to 250 uh, crowns, and this guy has about a thousand. So in my opinion, just stay with him. It's quicker. Just keep meditating and step away, and it really doesn't take that long. Uh, now, what I'm showing you here is a couple of suggestions, and people have been asking me, what about the bottle guy? And that's where he is on the map, where I'm pointing to right now. The bottle guy really makes does not help you whatsoever. It's deceiving the way it works because you think it's helping you because you're buying bottles off this guy, okay? And it does give him more money to buy your shit. And it's cool that he pays you more money than anybody Welcome. else for that shit. Welcome. So, like, if you're selling him a gold ring, he's, he buys it for more money than somebody else. That really doesn't matter because the gold rings essentially are endless, okay? It's not like you have a limited supply of them. So, yes, he does buy stuff for more. But this video doesn't really point that out, but it's just showing that I've, that I've tried it again. Just to make sure that, because I've gotten people saying that this makes more money. Yes, when you buy the bottles, he gets a little bit more money because they're one crown a piece and you can buy 120, I think I just bought 227 of them. Yeah, but the problem is, yes, he has more money and yeah, you can buy, he, can, he can buy more stuff from you. The problem is, now you have all these bottles in your inventory and all you're doing is moving the money around. So to get rid of those bottles, all you can do is just sell them back for one crown a piece. You're not gaining any money that way. It's just, you're just moving it around. You're not, you're not gaining anything by buying the bottles. So I'll say that again. Yes, when you buy the bottles, it momentarily gives him more money to buy more gold rings from you. The problem is, is that for you to go sell them, those bottles that you just bought for a crown apiece are still only worth a crown apiece. And so to get them out of your inventory to get your gold back, you have to sell them. And all you're doing is getting your money right back that you spent. Uh, trust me when I tell you, it doesn't get you any more gold this way. Um, it, it, it sounds like it might be in in theory it, it easily sounds like you could figure out a way to manipulate it manipulate it uh and i did try it even before the 1.07 video that i put up but it does not make you more money moving the bottles around is just a pain in the neck for no no gain your best method is to go to that armor okay or you can go to this guy here uh it's not as good but if you don't like that the way that armorer looks for some reason, go to that bar where the mug is right now. About I think I'm about to put my marker on it. Yeah, this guy respawns anywhere from 500 to a thousand. Okay, so I don't know why you wouldn't just go to the armor, and they're not close enough to really to run back and forth in my opinion. So um, he started out at more gold because I had bought something from him, and so I went to every shopkeeper in the whole game, on the whole, in the whole city of Novograd to make sure that I was, you know, finding the person that had the most gold and all, who respawned with the most gold. And uh, and also to make sure none of them, you know, respawn gold immediately or crowns immediately, excuse me. None of them do. They all, you know, when you walk away and come back, they all have the same two crowns that you left them with. They don't instantly respawn like the Lone Shark did. But after five full days of meditating, this guy uh, does get crowns back. And I think in this instance, he gets like 610 or something. So it's not terrible, but it's not as good as the armorer does on average. So again, my suggestion is to just use that, that armorer that shakes his head funnily. Just use him and just meditate over and over again without having to do, you know, go to all these other shops. See you later. Um, so that's, that's what I'm doing right now for money. And again, it's pointless. You really don't need a ton of money anyway because you just, you know, whenever you buy something, then just sell them gold rings to get your money right back. God Mode 2.0 does indeed work still, which is awesome. We, we, know, we know we lost the original God Mode, but the God Mode 2.0 still does work as well. And uh, that's the original footage, but it does work on 1.08. So um, thanks guys so much for watching. The Unlimited Experience works, the Unlimited Infinite Money works, and God Mode 2.0 all work on 1.08. Thanks and have a great day. See ya!